Oh, hey. How's it going, everybody? I'm going to give people a minute to get the notification that we're live and click over. So welcome to week two of the COVID-19 lockdown virtual poetry reading series. I'm Steve Carl. I decided to start doing these last week as a way of reaching out and connecting with people and in the hopes of entertaining you, especially those of you who are finding it challenging to be stuck at home. Today, I'm gonna to read a series of works written between 2001 and 2006 in response to the September 11th attacks the global war on terror and the Iraq war, and titled Tracheal Centrifuge. This series was published in 2006 by a small press called Factory School, uh, edited by Bill Marsh as part of their heretical texts series. The book is also called Tracheal Centrifuge, but it contains three other works in addition to the set I'm gonna read today. So we're gonna take a nostalgic trip back to a time when we had an incompetent, dumbass businessman in the White House trying to convince us that if only we'd give massive tax cuts to the rich, we'd all be rich, and demanding applause for their brilliant idea to keep us safe by arbitrarily torturing and killing a bunch of people. Mr. We could use a man like Herbert Hoover again. Ah, good times. Anyway, if anyone has any questions, put them in the comments and I'll try to answer them when I'm done. If anyone wants a copy of the book, send me a private message. Tracheal Centrifuge. War on Terror Journal. Grace Note a tone of decent sincerity or sincere decency from Gaddafi of all people. Note no strongman school in bomb drops yet. Let every flag wag. Hatfield McCoy identity theft at Homeland Security. Violence excuses itself in terms of self-defense. No further polls for proof. 90% of whatever support an attack on whomever. Flag flogging united. So now we have, and those who are, are against. President Shrubbish assured that such will, though not yet. What is called cycle of violence does not end, runs out on one side, or steps back pursues other means, seriously think, violence, conditions, terror thrives. Not anti-US, pro-human being, more spastic apprentices to the throne of McPower, nocturnal attorney, Adam Naive, fetch rover, Facts get your bolt on these policies. Flag frig, flag frag. The burnt socks of war are horrible, all right? A swirl of rocks thrown into relief as detail on Fox. The bombs we pay for receding into the backdrop of MF reality. Drop back in any time, says the warden, thinking here's a lifer in disguise. His are socks he knitted himself, burned to protest mistreatment by the guards. No trusted traveler card for him. Let him sweat it out at the ticket counter. Everything uniquely his counted against him. If time is up for discussion, let's talk about that time you were stopped for drunk driving and your connections had to bail you out but not before you wet your socks, thinking someone besides me is gonna get bombed for this. Clouds are severed from the sky, Tora Bora, like the careful attention to detail abandoned. 
we're unlikely to stay free of that Guantanamo. The axis of evil jumps on its broomstick and heads down to the UN, but, however, wastes precious credibility defending the obvious from the oblivious Abu Ghraib. Taking a phone call from the framers, the unexpired warranty, Darfur, blood wall, taking photos, taking them back to England's streaming, Fallujah, an atomic vengeance, the feel of the world, time heals all wounds paradox, French Quarter, penal colony of identity, The believer wakes up, he is in a large city. The holy man wakes up, he is in a nearby large city. The believer reads his book, the book will tell him what to do. The holy man reads his book. The holy man's book is the same as the believer's book, but the holy man's book tells him nothing. The holy man's book gives him only puzzles he cannot solve. He has been trying to solve the puzzles the book gives him for decades. Today, the holy man reads this. If anyone slew a person, it would be as if he slew the whole people. And if anyone saved a life, it would be as if he saved the life of the whole people. The believer also reads this. If anyone slew a person, it would be as if he slew the whole people. And if anyone saved a life, it would be as if he saved the life of the whole people. The books are the same book. It is the readers who are different. No one knows the holy man is holy. He appears no different from anyone. No one knows the believer is a madman. Not even the madman. He too appears no different from anyone. The madman is calm as he boards the plane. He feels the book's hero is protecting him, and thus he need not fear. The holy man is calm as he exits the train. He is wondering about the puzzle he has been given today by the book. Stepping out of the underground, he is struck by the sunlight in his eyes. Struck in this way while thinking, the holy man unintentionally becomes enlightened. Surprised, he looks around him just at the moment that the plane slams into the tower. The impact of plane on tower is mirrored by the impact of infinity on the mind of the holy man. In that moment, the madman becomes one of thousands of dead men. In that moment, the holy man becomes the madman. We may ask how an enlightened person may become mad. Enlightenment is not a permanent condition. Enlightenment may be tuned in and then lost, like a radio signal. The madman does not know he is mad. He believes he is still the enlightened man. Thousands of miles away, the believers and holy men of another place see. On their TVs, they see planes slamming into towers thousands of miles away. Some of them are sad. Some of them are not sad. The ones who are not sad feel that the people thousands of miles away do not seem to care about their suffering. The ones who are not sad feel that the people thousands of miles away seem to side with those who had inflicted suffering on them in the past. The madman reads in his newspaper that some of the people in the dead man's country thousands of miles away were not sad about the lives lost in the plane and the tower. He wishes that some suffering could be inflicted on them for this. No one knows the holy man is mad. He is no different from anyone. The believer wakes up. He is on an aircraft carrier thousands of miles away. The believer reads his book. The book will tell him what to do. The book tells him this. Render unto Caesar that which is Caesar's, and render unto God that which is God's. The believer is calm as he boards the plane. The dead man has a vision. In the vision, the entire universe, past, present, and future, has been split in two. The two parts are not equal parts. 
One part is presented in the form of an airplane. The other part is presented in the form of a tower. Each part of the universe continually splits itself off into another tower or another airplane. Each time it does this, one of the airplanes smashes into one of the towers. The impact of the airplanes destroys the towers. The impact of the towers destroys the airplanes. The dead man cannot awake from his vision. Instead, the dead man screams. The radio signals from the airplanes and the towers fall silent. This is a haibun, which is a, a Japanese form that uh, alternates prose um, sections with haiku. So hopefully you'll be able to tell which is which. Perspective of the firing hand in bed with the military, beaming their daily ration. Advance with the story, the night goggles filter more. Ring around the rosy, a pocket full of cozy. Say what we say we do. A casual ratio of one to 10 to 100. If the one remains one, the others can grow to infinity. Baghdad spring, laser guided cluster food bomb, the outliving heart mines. Camp David versus Camp X-ray, the hardball game of the century. Flights have stopped, sick will throw up, a pretzel for peace. Rallies for Clear Channel as billions are passed off as focus group. Lower Wilhelmina, helicopters chop the spring silence up. Conventioners dance on your grave. On the one hand, they died defending freedom. On the other, naming them is treason. Covert agents, fair game, depending who they've married. The facts is our national shell game. Any remorse? Cobatreeb. One. After September the 11th, the doctrine of containment just doesn't hold any water as far as I'm concerned, Mr. Bush said. There is a duty on Saddam to cooperate fully. Should Mr. Blix continue to report Iraqi non-cooperation, a second resolution should be passed confirming such a material breach. If he does not disarm for the sake of peace, we, along with others, will go disarm Saddam Hussein. I want to remind you, I was the guy that went to the United Nations in the first place. White House spokesman Ari Fleischer said, the President of the United States and the Secretary of Defense would not assert as plainly and bluntly as they have that Iraq has weapons of mass destruction if it was not true, and if they did not have a solid basis for saying it. Two, I want to recall you, I were the type which went to the United Nations initially, Mr. Bush said. There is a duty on Saddam to entirely cooperate. If Mr. Blix continues to bring back the Iraqi, not cooperation, a second resolution should have passed confirming a so material infringement if it does not disarm for peace, the U.S. with others will go disarm Saddam Hussein. The after September 11th doctrines of reserve right do not hold any water with regard to I, the president stated by Fleischer, White House, of the, of Ari, of spokesman of the United States and the Secretary of Defense would not for affirm also simply and abruptly, which they have, that Iraq has of the weapons of destruction of mass if it were not true, and if they did not have a full base for saying it. Three, if for La Paz we are not with others disarmaments disarmed Hussein Saddam, I would not want to remember it. I was the kind that he has gone to the nations in the first place, Mr. Bush said. 
after September 11, which does not hold theories of the reserve right water regarding I, there is a task on Saddam to cooperate, to complete. If Mr. Blix continues getting the Iraqi, not Kobatrib, back a second dissolution should have led to the confirmation of a so material inquiry. The president said that it has been indicated from the house white woman of the butcher that the from plow of word masters, the United States and the secretary of the defense has simply had it, not moreover to confirm and unexpected than they have it has this Iraq of the cruise of the destruction of the mass of if not applicable was and from if she were not a complete lower surface for the saying of for it would wish to remember it i that i was the type that was to the nations in the first place after the 11th september then does not hold the theories of the water of right of reservoir considering i the mr bush has said if for La Pax, we were not with other Hussein through disarmament, Saddam are disarmed. There is an operation on Saddam to cooperate in order to complete. If the Mr. Continuous Blix to obtain the posterior part of Kobatrib of the Iraqi, no, a second dissolution would not have to lead the confirmation of one wounded, therefore material word president the master likes it demonstrated the meat shop house was the white in the defense private secretary simply there was its woman characteristic that usa on the one hand because you does not verify it is that in is unexpected she when this it not so is suitable for her the surface completes it, is lowest, folds the sentence as a result of one, is east side, the group, the Iraqi, this group's destruction. Five, it has an operation in Saddam to cooperate, the end to finish. If Mr. Continuous Blix is to get the posterior part of Kobatrib of the Iraqi, no one second dissolution would not have that to lead to the confirmation of consequently a material one wounded. If for Lopez with other Hussein with disarmaments, Saddam, which we will not be, disarms it to after 11 September, of that it does not arrest the theories of the water of the white right of the reservoir, being considered that I, Mr. Shrub said, it would like to remember it, I, which was I, the kind which was with the nations first? Word president likes principle. It's to select to the top and butchery white inside direction personnel vice ministers are cut. And it's female quality of American country. Who is of this place that it showed in a hand this, which to be like this per hour of L, it, to be appropriate interior it, because you're not to confirm that because an unexpected result, it, what the interior, i.e. the pale fees of surface, the head of a brother, of an elder, of a fold of low end of family, which is him, it, to trim the Iraqi out of a group the person is the destruction of a group on the East, which is. Six, if for the peace with the other Hussein, with disarmaments, the Saddam, than whom they are not we, dismisses it, disarms it, it has an operation in Saddam to cooperate the end to finish. If Signor Continuous Blitz, to obtain to the later part of Kobatrib of the Arakino, a second dissolution would not have that to lead to the hurt confirmation of, therefore material. The word president appreciates principle. To exceed it, the protein of the butcher and the side, inner vice minister of the personal, of sense from pre-selected, 
and feminine quality of the cut of the American of the country than of this place that he has shown is in a hand of this witch to be like that one of the hour of the L it to the inner part adapted is because not to confirm it that one because an unexpected result it than the inner part that is that they are taxes the stick of the surface the head of a brother of that oldest one of the popular low end of the family which it it that the destruction is iraqi the group to the frames of of the group on the east that he is when after the 11th of september of that does not arrest the theories of the water of the right of the deposit being considered that I, Senor Shrub said, I would want it to be remembered that one, that the type was I, that was with the nations in the first place. <clears throat> not to mention the $2 trillion cost twice but war is a terrible thing, said Tip, thoughtfully. Troops stretched thin and morale low. This war will be pleasant, replied the girl cheerfully. Bring it on. Enough troops to do the job turns out to be troops stretched thin and morale low. Powell says they're to carry unconventional weapons. Enough troops to do the job turns out to be meant only for recon. Powell says they're to carry unconventional weapons. Thousands of US and coalition soldiers dead meant only for recon. Non-existent yellow cake processed in inadequate aluminum tubes. Thousands of US and coalition soldiers dead. More Al Qaeda in Iraq now than during Saddam. Non-existent yellow cake processed in inadequate aluminum tubes. Tens of thousands of Iraqi military conscripts killed. More Al Qaeda in Iraq now than during Saddam. Half of Americans believe he was involved in 9 11. Tens of thousands of Iraqi military conscripts killed. You can fool some of the people all of the time, and those are the ones you need to concentrate on, he joked. Half of Americans believe he was involved in 9 11. For most US intelligence experts, read an embedded tracheal centrifuge. You can fool some of the people all of the time, and those are the ones you need to concentrate on, he joked. But seriously, we found a biological laboratory, though. For most US intelligence experts, read an embedded tracheal centrifuge. The mobile trailers were facilities to fill weather balloons. But seriously, we found a biological laboratory, though. 100,000 Iraqi civilians killed by our weapons. The mobile trailers were facilities to fill weather balloons. But war is a terrible thing, said Tip thoughtfully. 100,000 Iraqi civilians killed by our weapons. This war will be pleasant, replied the girl cheerfully. Bring it on. The coalition's last meeting. As soon as he comes in and sees the message screen flashing, Aquaman sends up Neptune's dolphin with a signal lantern, calling the members of the Coalition of Right to an emergency meeting. He'd go up himself normally, but today his pectoral implants are really killing him. Some new threat has appeared on the scene, but its exact nature is a riddle, and Aquaman is no good at riddles. So he's going to need all the help he can get. Robin Hood calls in on his cell phone to say he's on his way, but Dr. Laura is making a guest appearance on Survivor, and if she misses another taping, she'll lose her endorsement contract with Jaguar. So sorry, bub, too bad, like it or lump it. It's times like these Aquaman really misses Batman. Sure, arrogance, uh, sure Batman's just as arrogant and pushy, but at least with him, crime fighting comes first. Aquaman likes to start each meeting with a good downward dog. 
So he spends a few minutes carefully arranging everyone's yoga mats for when they arrive. He'll have to pass today because of the implants, but the others can use the exercise and the discipline. Aquaman doesn't really think the coalition is working out all that well. For starters, there's the name, which doesn't sound very intimidating, like the Avengers or the Justice League, but was chosen by some PR firm inside the Pentagon, which oversees the Department of Superheroes. Aquaman guesses it's at least better than the Super Friends, however. Then there are the personnel problems. Dr. Laura is too busy doing TV specials to fight crime and is a call-in radio show host, for God's sake. She doesn't even have any superpowers or skills that would be useful in battle. The Wonder Twins do, but their powers, or perhaps their mental faculties, are almost completely useless. Robin Hood is a great archer, but even he isn't working out as well as Aquaman had hoped. But really, he doesn't have much choice in the matter. Superman has taken a job as head of security for Halliburton. Batman's been involved in developing terrorist information awareness. Wonder Woman refuses to work with him and is threatening a sexual harassment suit. All he'd said was, how are the Wonder Twins? What was wrong with that? So he's stuck with this group of whoever was left who couldn't say no to the assignment. And even so, he almost didn't get the job of chief operations officer. He'd converted to Christianity to make himself a more attractive candidate, a fact which makes him feel super guilty every time he uses one of Neptune's creatures to do errands for him, since he's not even supposed to believe in Neptune anymore. But it was either this job or that one helping the Navy develop its low frequency sonar, which sounded like a big headache. Of course, he hadn't realized at the time how much of a headache this job would turn out to be. Maybe he should have taken the Navy job. Maybe he'd be into some sweet disability checks by now. Oh, well. He's finishing up his broccoli and tofu stir fry when he hears Robin Hood's helicopter touch down. Aquaman has doubts about Robin's loyalty given his socialist past. And sometimes when he can't find a pen or a piece of fruit that he was sure had been there the day before, he suspects that Robin Hood may have taken it to give to a homeless person or something. Aquaman nervously twirls his chopsticks as Robin enters. Any word from the twins, Robin asks. Aquaman asks, flinching as the hood's firm handshake sends a fresh blast of pain through his pecs. Last I heard, replies Robin, they were in the park checking out the photography exhibit and practicing their x-ray vision. Great, says Aquaman, rolling his eyes. But just then, a large giraffe lumbers in, followed by a stream of liquid. The giraffe and the liquid make their way over to Aquaman's futon, disarranging all his yoga mats and morph back into the Wonder Twins, Zan and Jaina. That tears it for Aquaman. He's fed up with his total lack of regard for the group headquarters, which incidentally doubles as his living space due to budget cuts that Superman would never tolerate. But as he opens his mouth to yell at these impudent little punks, the faint smell of Parmesan makes him stop and look at Zan, who's munching something out of a greasy bag with red and white stripes on it. Here, are those veggie sticks? Is all that will come out of his mouth. On the monitor behind him, Dr. Laura is voted off the island. Her eyes flash as the images on all 16 monitors turn to snow. That's it. You. Um, so I wanted to uh, just uh, do some little notes about the co composition, how uh, some of the pieces in this were composed. Um, so War on Terror Journal was free written over a period of several months. Um, I already talked about High Wind in the during the reading. Um, Cobatrib, the long six part piece, was composed using Google Translate. Um, the first section was taken pretty much verbatim from news reports. Um, and then it was translated into uh, a different language. I can't remember which languages I used at this point. It was like 15 years later. <laughs> but um, So the, uh, the, the first section was translated out of English and then back into English. 
um, and then the resulting sentences were rearranged slightly. And so that became the second section. And then that section was then translated into, uh, I, I'm pretty sure the second section was translated into German and back to get the third section. Um, and the reason I know that is because that's where the, the third section is where the word Kobetry first appears, um, which became the title of the piece because it was this weird insertion. Um, Google Translate, for some reason, rendered the word cooperation into German. Um, rather than doing a direct translation of the word cooperation, uh, it, it left the, the co part in English and it just translated uh, the operation part from English into German, the, the German for operation or in the sense of like a business, like a business or an operation in that sense is, is betrieb. So it, so it came, it made up this word, co-betrieb for cooperation. And then that got stuck in the rest of the poem because the, the German, uh, German capitalizes their nouns. So so it capitalized Kobetrieb, and then since the word doesn't actually exist, all the rest of the translations just assumed that Kobetrieb was a proper name, and so they just left it as is through the rest of the poem. <laughs> and I was fascinated by that, so that became the title of the piece. Um, and I, I thought the gradual, I, I like the effect of the gradual um, uh, disintegration of the, the sort of relatively tight syntax in the first piece as uh, as you try to go out and sell this, you know, these ideas to um, around the globe to different um, people that speak different languages and you end up, it becomes more and more paraphrastic until finally you can't really tell what the hell they're talking about. <laughs> and I thought that was a, you know, a, a, an, an apt metaphor for the, the justification that were being used to sell the Iraq war to us. Um, not to mention the $2 trillion cost twice is, you might have noticed uh, uh, if you're um, if you've ever written one of these, is a pantoum. It was based on a Malay form where lines two and four of each four line stanza become lines one and three of the next. Um, I, I discarded the rhyme scheme though. Um, the lines quoting Tip and the Girl are taken from The Land of Oz by L. Frank Baum. Uh, and finally, the coalition's last meeting was inspired by Stephen Paul Martin's double identity. Uh, which hilariously re-examines the Superman mythos. Um, I recommend reading it if anyone's uh, at all interested. Uh, so I took that football and ran in a different direction with it. And uh, just imagine the war on terror as carried out uh, by, you know, superheroes. Um, so uh, that's it. Um, I, let's see. I see some comments here, but I can't see a whole lot. So I, uh, I, I can't, I don't see any questions. So, <laughs> um, so we'll just end for today. Um, next Sunday is Easter Sunday. So I'm not sure if I'll do one on Sunday, but I may do one on Saturday or I may do one on Monday or something. So, um, so yeah, uh, I hope to keep doing these and uh, I'm going to reiterate my call from last week. Uh, all anybody out there that uh, does, um, music or writing or uh, visual art or anything, um, please share it. We're, uh, we're all going a little stir crazy, I'm sure. So um, share what you're doing and let's, uh, let's have fun. All right. Um, thanks very much for tuning in and take care of everybody. Take care of yourselves and each other.